And even self the Senate, they don't they vex for the way where the security agencies need a try for the nationwide to take enforce the ban for interstate movement from President Muhammadu Buhari. The Senate, when they made a deliberate for motion with entitled the need to enforce the presidential order to ban interstate movement, they raised by Senator Ike Ekwerimado from Enugu West. Senator Ike Ekwerimado being young, the Inspector General of Police and the Commandant of the Obodo Niger Security and Civil Defense Corp to fully enforce the orders for curfew and ban for non-essential interstate travels. The Senate then still tasked the head of security agencies to still investigate the claim on top complicity for personnel with the help to take a breach the curfew and ban for movement. Us are aware of the presidential order declaring dust to dawn curfew all over the country. Seriously worried by the numerous reports and trending videos on a flagrant breach of the curfew and interstate travels. Aware that the presidential tax force on COVID-19 has raised alarm over what he described as increased level of interstate movement worsened by the dubious concealment of people in food carrying vehicles. Further aware that the Nigerian Governor's Forum has equally raised serious concern over the way Nigerians crisscross the country in their numbers despite the subsisting order to the contrary. While some states are very serious and I mean very serious with the lockdown and all the measures being put in place. You see some other parts of the country taking it as just a child's play and making fun out of every situation that they have seen. And the implication is that you now see clearly how the virus is moving in terms of the community transmission we are talking about. Because right now, we are not talking about anybody importing this virus. The virus is already here in Nigeria. Most times, the citizens are not even aware of the dangers inherent in moving from one place to the other. Mr. President, many communities, many states are interlinked one way or the other. The security agencies are usually on the highway. They are not in the remote areas where the movement is marked. The movement is not even on the major roads. It's all these small, small internal roads that people move from one place to the other. Therefore, we can only apply discipline and continue to beg Nigerians. Uh, there is need for total uh, enforcement of the ban on interstate travels. Apparently, there is uh, so much breach and it appears like we are helpless. Our, our security agencies who are supposed to enforce this, uh, in most cases, appear to look helpless. They need to sit up. This is a very serious uh, challenge, health challenge to our country. But beyond interstate, even the observance of uh, social distancing, uh, the hygiene, and other uh, protocols sometimes suffer inside and yes, so the Senate, they don't pass the first reading for bill and we then won't use alter the nation constitution to allow virtual court proceedings to take Shelley. The bill with entitled 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria Alteration Bill 2020, then it is sponsored by Senator Okpeyemi Bamidele from Ekiti Central Senatorial District and are to alter the provide of Section 36 for the nation constitution to take add subsection 13. And it will make sure, say, the constitution they duly amended to take a legitimize the remote hearing for court proceedings via Zoom, Skype, WhatsApp video, or any other social media platform or technological innovation for the light of the lockdown where they experience nationwide and the coronavirus pandemic. A bill standing in the name of distinguished Senator Michael Ope Miba on the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria Alteration Bill 2020. Mr. President, you may wish to invite the clerk of the Senate to read the short title of the bill. The clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished Senators, 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Operation Bill 2020, SB 418, 